This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather, ho there, Shift Cutter Daughter, welcome to another Sports Catastrophe Birthday Boy. And the birthday boy for today, December the 20th, is a New York Mets icon who played for the Mets his entire 14 year career. Didn't want to go for another team, which is great. He was drafted by the Mets in the 2001 MLB draft and made his debut in 2004. He was known as Captain America for his performance in the 2013 World Baseball Classic, putting up 10 RBIs and a 438 betting average, leading the World Baseball Classic <gasps> in those marks, despite the fact the Americans didn't get to the semifinals. But he's a third baseman who's an icon for the Mets. Unfortunately, injuries would massively hit him because of spinal stenosis and Basically, his last four years were just a distant dream, if you will. He's now a special advisor in the Mets front office. His name is David Wright, who is 41 years old today. Anyway, so David Wright was born in Virginia and actually grew up a Mets fan because the class trip, the trip lake team was in Norfolk, which was 10 minutes from his home. He would take kidding lessons and would actually play on teams alongside Ryan Zimmerman, Mark Reynolds, BJ Upton, and Justin Upton during high school. So he went to Hickory High School in Virginia. He actually committed to playing college baseball at Georgia Tech, a fine school for NCAA baseball. So when the Rockies picked up Mike Hampton in free agency, at the time, they had to give up a supplemental draft pick, a compensation pick, and the Mets picked him up. So after Aaron Heilman was picked, the Mets with the supplemental pick decided to go with David Wright. And it was there and all that. So anyway, he did well in minor league. From class A to class AAA. Playing in Norfolk, not far from his house. July 21st, 2004, the Mets decided to pick him up, uh, send him up to the big boys. And he started at third base against the Expos. He picked up a double the next day against Sack Day of the Expos. And in 263 at-bats in 69 games, quiet. He had 293 with 14 home runs and 40 RBIs. Then in 2005, Wright played in all but two games and picked up a 306 batting average, 27 home runs, 102 RBIs, leading the team in many categories. He was top 10 in the National League in average hits, RBIs, and runs, which was pretty good. Unfortunately, though, he picked up 24 errors, which was the most in the major leagues. However, David Wright made one of the greatest catches of the year on a simple pop-up. Padres took on the Mets, August 2005. Brian Giles hit the blooper beyond the edge of the outfield right, and Wright somehow, with his back to home plate, extended his bare right hand and caught the ball cleaning while crashing to the field. It was big. I can picture Ted Robinson when he was doing Met games, the call he did on David Wright. But it's like one of the best catch. Stay hot. And it was like one of the best barehanded catches ever. I think it was better barehanded catch than Kevin Mitchell's hot dog barehanded catch in 1987. Or was it 89? No, 89. But yeah, it didn't matter. But anyway, David Wright was a great player and all that. Who actually hit a walk-off single in the 2006 season against Moreno Rivera, which was hard to do. He was voted on as the starting third baseman for the National League, and he looked pretty good. Played up 74 RBIs before the All-Star break, breaking the Mets record of Mike Piazza, who had 72. Wright actually finished second in the home run derby to Ryan Howard of the Phils. In his first All-Star game of that ever, off of Kenny Rogers, he hit a home run. He did pretty well. Fans wanted him to... Be MVP, MVP, MVP. And so in August of 06, he signed a six year contract extension with the Mets and all that, helping the Mets win the NL East and get into the NLCS against the Cardinals. Unfortunately, though, he would only bat 216 in the postseason. Anyway, in 2007, he picked up a 26 game hitting streak which was the most in Mets history, beating Mike Piazza and Huey Brooks' marks. But September 2007, after a hitting home run against the Phillies, he became the 29th player to go 30-30, meaning he had 30 home runs and 30 stolen bases in a season. 
<clears throat> being the third Met to do so behind Howard Johnson and Daryl Strawberry. The 2007 season, he did well, batting 325, 30 home runs, 107 RBIs, and fourth in MVP voting. David Wright played in 2009, part of the World Baseball Class at, at third base, so he did well. He finished seventh in MVP voting in 2008, batting 302 with 33 home runs, 124 RBIs. So, anyway. David Wright, unfortunately, got beamed in the head in mid-August 2009 by a fastball by Matt Keane. He had post-concussion syndrome and had to go on the DL for the first time. Wright decided to wear a new batting helmet, making some adjustments. Of course, his, his decline in production kind of is because he missed time because of the concussion. Anyway, David Wright was pretty good. 2010, he batted 283, 29 home runs, 103 RBIs, and a bounce back here. David Wright did a lot of things. David Wright, in April 2012, actually broke the Mets record for most RBIs by a player as a Met, being Daryl Strawberry in that category and became the Mets' all-time record holder for hits at the end of the 2012 season, beating Ed Crankpool. So anyway, he picked up a contract extension for seven years and all that. 2013, he was the home run derby captain when the All-Star game headed to Metland. He was named team captain of the Mets, becoming only the fourth player to do so after Keith Hernandez, Gary Carter, and John Franco. So anyway, David Wright was the starting third baseman for the Met, uh, for the National League, July six at the All Star Game, going one for three. That was the seventh All Star Game he was in, and he became the fourth Mets player to do so, with seven plus All Star games. Unfortunately, he would have a DL thing and only played 112 games with 18 home runs, 58 RBIs. So uh, David Wright would have a rotator cuff thing, and then by 2015 things were bad. He was diagnosed with spinal stenosis at the start of the 2015 season and was expected to return towards the end of the season. So anyway, Wright came back on August 24th, hitting a home run off of Adam Morgan of the Phillies, and it was spectacular. His return would help the Mets out as they had the balance to get to the World Series final against the Royals. He unfortunately picked up a massive error in the 14th inning as the Royals beat the Mets in that game one, five to four, 14. But he picked up four RBIs in game three, knocking off a two run home run off of Yorando Ventura. The, that was the good news. The bad news is that was in the Mets only win of that 2015 World Series. So he had to have a lot of he had to have a pre-game, a four to five hour pre-game workout routine because of his spinal stenosis, a physical therapy exercise, and minimal batting skills and all that. Unfortunately, in June, he had to have neck surgery to replace a herniated disc. He only played 37 games in his major, uh, that season. And unfortunately, he wasn't so sure and all that. He had to go through rotator cuff surgery. He had a right so shoulder impingement and didn't play at all in 2017. In 2018 he was trying to come back but he had setback after setback. He would have to go to rehab and September 28th 2018 as a pitch hitter he grounded out but that was the first time he was on the field in two years. In the fifth inning well the final game of the year against the Marlins, he played five innings and then was taken off the field. The fans gave him a massive salute, salute and all that, and basically he retired. But let's not forget, when he was healthy, he was good for the Mets. He posted a 296 lifetime average, 390 doubles, 242 round trippers, 970 RBIs, almost got to 1,000. If he was healthy, he would have gotten it. 
196 stolen bases and all that in 1,585 games over 14 seasons. He wasn't that bad as a defenseman, uh, defensively. But in the postseason, he would only bat 198 in 24 postseason games. That kind of was his downfall. But he was part of the U.S. team in the World Baseball Classic in both 09 and 13. He actually had a big walk-off hit for the Americans against Puerto Rico, which led the U.S. to make the semifinals, which contradicts what I said earlier in the video, which I'm stupid about. So, yeah, he was the main third baseman for the 2013 World Baseball Classic, hitting a grand slam against Italy, picking up five RBIs against Puerto Rico in one game. He had the most total RBIs of any player, even though that the Americans didn't do so well. So, anyway, yeah. He did all that. So, he has a lot of Mets records. He is the Mets All-Star leader, meaning the most All-Star games by a Met, career of bats leader, career doubles champion, career hits, career offensive war wins above replacement, plate appearances, RBIs, runs scored, sacrifice flies, and total bases. Be an LLB.com Rookie of the Year, but I don't think he played enough to us for to be named Rookie of the Year. Two-time home run derby participant, seven-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slugger winner in 07 and 08 when he was healthy, as I, I said. All that. Because David Wright actually was a part of an endorsement deal for Vitamin Water once it was sold to Coca-Cola for $4.1 billion. He was actually given $20 million from that deal, 0.5% of the company. Um, he's married to a model, Molly Beers, that's her name, and they have two daughters and a son together. He does the David Wright Foundation. He was on the cover of MLB 07 The Show. I remember playing that and all that. Uh, part of the Boys and Girls Club of America. He was part of a few things, but yeah. David Wright, you can't argue with him being a New York match icon. You just can't. Anyhow, I'm Jeff Diamond to do.